My name is Phil Cly, and I'm a Marine Corps veteran of the Iraq War. I went to Anbar province, which was the heart of the Sunni insurgency. General Stanley McChrystal once said that every new uh, foreign fighter that he had encountered had been jolted into action by Abu Ghraib. The number one driver of foreign troops to Iraq was the U.S. mistreatment of Muslims uh, in captivity. I find a lot of things profoundly worrying about the current administration. Somebody discussing military policy and suggesting that the United States should adopt a policy of to the victor go to the spoils. If we're just in it for the money, we're no better than a drug gang. Right now, there's an 18-year-old kid who's thinking about joining the Marine Corps. Would I bet that kid's life that Donald Trump really does have a secret plan to defeat ISIS? That he'll be a um, thoughtful, careful commander-in-chief? I would not. There's so much tough guy rhetoric from people who are not tough, who've never sacrificed anything. That means life or death for some kid. That means the difference between some kid getting his leg blown off, getting his face burned off, getting killed by an enemy sniper. And we talk about these things in the most idiotic way as if the only thing is to say the toughest sounding thing, the cruelest sounding thing, because that's what proves that you're serious and you're really a tough guy. So I'm gonna waterboard people, believe me. Oh, torture works, believe me. And the upshot of that is people who don't know what they're talking about saying things that gets a population on board with policies that are gonna kill people. 